And the Abilene City Council approves a big investment in what's left of an old building in downtown Abilene. Bringing what the city calls an eyesore to a new use. KTAB City reporter Nathan Grieve has that. $80,000 from the city is likely to go a long way in transforming the skeleton of the Matera Paper Company into the new home of Sock Dollager Brewing Company. We feel pretty dang lucky. Um, it's a great location. Um, the visibility is going to be awesome. Um, the chance to kind of be like a cornerstone business for Soda District. Um, just kind of the the business that says, hey, where we're Soda District starts, that will be huge for us. It's been a long road since 2012 when the building burned down, and more recently since Tim Smith took over the property, trying to decide just what to do with a mostly clean slate. It's taken us about a year to kind of solidify plans. Uh, took a lot of time to make sure we were going to maximize the use of the property. Kind of our intent is to make this the cornerstone of the Soda District. This new build, the first in the area in decades, is an anchor to the growing Soda District. I felt like, wow, we have the ability to take all these small projects and really make a difference and create a district, so that's what we're doing. And what better to mark the move than a new brew? Well, we've toyed around some ideas of um, maybe making something special that we only sell in the tap room. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Nathan Grieve, KTAB News. Thank you, Nathan. We're still some time off from the reborn Matera Gardens, but the two Abilene success stories involved look promising.